how are you? Welcome to Melbourne Musos, the drum show. Tonight is meta. Okay, so what happens is that what I just did then was um, something typical of a John Bonham-esque kind of thing, except for the double bass drum bit that I sort of went into. That's just typical 16th notes, yeah? Let me talk about 16th notes. Um, Semi-quavers, um, by their European name, uh, basically um, what happens is you have a normal rock beat, one and two and three and four and... They are quavers, or eighth notes, one and two and three and four and... As soon as you put something in between... They halve the value of the beat, so you go from half a beat to a quarter of a beat, okay? Sixteenth notes. So you can have a normal rock beat. In betweens. Get a bit raucous opening up the hi-hat. John Henry Bonham. How could I do a metal show without mentioning the name John Bonham? Okay. Now, one of the things that John Bonham is fantastic for is that kind of a groove. If it wasn't a metal show, I'd be doing the same kind of thing for a funky show, right? But we're not talking funky, we're talking meta. Okay, so what happens is um, one of the great things, actually one of the great albums for this is Led Zeppelin's third album, okay? You've got the classic immigrant song for a start. What a foot the man had, okay? Um, bass drum to die for, really. Bass drum technique to die for. Um, what happens is that with that, uh, there's other great songs on that album that aren't um, Led Zeppelin classics, whatever, but for the Led Zeppelin fan, they're incredible. Uh, things like, well, Celebration Day, which is the name of their latest DVD from their 2007 concert, and Out on the Tiles is a fantastic track. On my old vinyl, it's the last song on um, side one. So you get... <laughs> That's out on the tiles off of uh, Led Zeppelin's third album, okay? Um, there you go. That's 16th notes. John Bonham. Now, I'm going to backtrack a little bit because um, essentially Led Zeppelin weren't the first metal band per se, okay? The real term heavy metal came about with Black Sabbath. Bill Ward, the great drummer from, um, you, can't, you can't even start talking about metal without starting re really with Black Sabbath. And um, Bill Ward, the fantastic drummer from there, he put swing into everything, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but the, the, the band Black Sabbath is just revered. They're coming out, or I think they're, uh, they're coming out as I'm recording the show, but by the time it gets to where I think they are out, they're here now. Uh, but what happens is with Black Sabbath, Bill Ward, they, the, the band swung. I mean, one of the great rhythm sections. If you think about fantastic hard rock rhythm sections, okay, you go back to Keith Moon and John Entwistle, okay, of The Who. I've already talked about um, John Bonham, and this Led Zeppelin's secret weapon has always been um, John Paul Jones on bass and keyboards. What a, an extraordinary talent, the secret weapon, the unsung hero of the band, really. The, the, apparently, by all accounts, the utter gentleman of the band. And then, of course, with Sabbath, you've got Bill Ward and Geezer Butler. And what an amazing rhythm section they are, sort of thing. So, what starts to happen 
is that when you're starting to talk about the, the first Black Sabbath album and then into Paranoid and all of that sort of stuff, you're getting grooves like this. <laughs> That's almost, you know, I could do that on a jazz show and call it Elvin Jones, you know, all you need to do is put a big muff distortion pedal on John Coltrane's saxophone, you know, and, um, you know, you've got these great tracks from B Black Sabbath's um, first, um, oh, five albums, but I actually always say six. Um, I recently watched a doco on metal, um, fantastic uh, show, I can't remember the name <laughs> of, I'm so sorry, um, but um, uh, it had Kerry King um, from Slayer, and um, he basically said, I make it easy for myself. When any, whenever anyone asks me what is my favourite metal albums, I always say the first five Black Sabbath albums, which are Black Sabbath, Paranoid, Master of Reality, Black Sabbath Volume 4, and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. But I'm a big fan of the sixth album as well, Sabotage, okay, Hole in the Sky and, and the tracks like that. That, what a, what a way to start an album, you know, like... For that, you need a bionic right foot. Um, with um, tracks like when you're doing um, things like a shuffle, a heavy metal shuffle, it's not really good enough to do a basic shuffle just to go one to two to three to four to one to two to three to four. What you need to do is put in the bass drum in all of them. So you get one to two to three to four to one to two to three to four to one to two to three to four. And dig it in. Bill Ward was great for digging in on a beat. 